So I have a helper today. Wanna to say hi, Addison? Hi. Hi. She's gonna help me organize the pantry. Sometimes the pantry is a home for Paw Patrol toys, right, Addison? Can you show them your little Paw Patrol toys? Oh, you have lots of toys in there. Hold up a Paw Patrol toy. That's an eraser. That's not a Paw Patrol toy. Where is a Paw Patrol toy? Oh, there we got one. Who is that? Baby Rocky. Yeah, he's so adorable, right? Right. Who's that? Baby Zuma. Zuma. What do you say about Zuma? He's so adorable. <laughs> All right, we're going to get this pantry cleared out a little bit. Another eraser. What are we going to do with all those erasers when we have the clean pantry? Are they going to go back in there? Giant eraser, right? Who's on there? My little ponies. My little ponies. In this video, I will also share with you how we make snack time for our kids a little bit easier. What you got there? Chocolate. Chocolate Shopkins. Awesome. <laughs> this might be a little bit off topic, but when my children were babies, I would make sure that um, they were well fed before they went to bed because I really wanted them to sleep as long as possible. And once they were not nursing anymore, we uh, tried to... That goes. We made sure that they had some milk or a little snack mm -hmm. before they went to bed. And now that's just become kind of a habit. Mm -hmm. And as an adult, I know that's not necessarily the best habit to be in. So my thoughts recently are that... If that's going to continue, I'd like it to most often be a healthy snack. What is, why are you laughing? Because you're trying to show your Lego? <laughs> so those are my reasons behind why my kids typically have a snack. We call it a bedtime snack. Um, but also, of course, there's times during the day where they have snacks too. And it's just really helpful to be able to have those items already chosen out. And for them to be able to... <laughs> choose the ones that they want out of the choices that I've already made. Whoa. So here's how I do that. This is the drawer that we use for snacks that are not refrigerated. And as you can see, we try to have a few healthy options in here like banana chips, raisins, granola bars. Um, we have fruit snacks, which yeah, kind of on the border of not really that healthy. And pretzels. Uh, we also, you know, put other snacks in there like popcorn, just different variety of snacks. And this is where my children can pick out their snacks. So it's nice that it's at their level and they can uh, grab something out of here. We do have a pretty good habit of them asking beforehand, so that's nice. Otherwise, I would maybe want to keep it out of reach. But for now, this works for us to have a snack drawer. Since I am really interested in making this snack more healthy, I would love for you to comment below what types of healthy snacks you like your kids to have, and that might just encourage me to put a few different options in this drawer. And Ellie's very yuck. Yeah, Avery likes chili, doesn't she? Yuck. Okay, can you get another can, please? That bad, huh? I tell them it's the chili. Oh, 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 I close my mouth. I love mac and cheese. These are the items that I found in the pantry that were expired. I recycled them as best I could and threw away the rest. Our top drawer is for crackers and chips. Our middle drawer is for snacks. This is low enough that my children can come and get snacks. They actually do ask me um, typically before they get a snack, so I'm okay with it being low enough for them to grab things. And this is the drawer that a lot of times they will go to to get something or of course out of the refrigerator. And lastly, I had a few different kinds of soups, 
So I wanted one more jar for soup. Now watch the before and after pictures. You see. Now watch me and the before and after videos. <laughs> This is the upper shelf of our pantry and many of these items are in here because I took them off the counter to clear off the counter. So it's really nice that we have this cabinet to use as a pantry for some extra appliances and uh, storage for a few other items that we need for the kitchen. Here's the bottom of our pantry before we went through and got rid of some expired items and did a lot of reorganization. And the after is something I am really excited about because it is so much more organized now. We used a locker shelf on the right to lift up the box of soup. Lastly, this is the whole cabinet before we did the declutter. You can tell it just needed some organization. I'm so happy that when I open it now, I know that nothing in here is expired and we have room for everything that we needed to get into this cabinet. It is so refreshing. I just wanted to give you a little peek of what our cabinet looks like when it's all closed up. This is the wall that's opposite our cupboards. Okay, if you're gonna, oh, you're not covering my face this time? Okay. Smile! Tickle, 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 tickle. Ready? How should mommy's arms be now? Up like that? You're not going to tickle me, are you? Ah! <laughs> 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 <laughs>